It's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More. I'm standing outside another one of my new fix and flips. Just bought this one this morning. My second one I bought today. So we'll step inside, take a look at it. Uh, make sure you check out investformore.com. <laughs> All kinds of free stuff on there, free books, resources. Um, I also have some coaching programs and different things going on. But this house I bought for 140,000. And this was an off-market deal. So we had someone come to us. It was an estate. They did not want to list it. They just want to sell it quick. Said if we give them a fair offer, what they thought it was decent for them, they'd sell it to us. So um, we offered them 140. They said that sounded fair to them. And we got it done. So we're able to close in a couple weeks. They wanted to close real fast and did not want to deal with it anymore. This house is quite outdated, needs quite a bit of work, but um, has a lot of potential. If it looks familiar, I have another fix and flip I'm working on. Actually, we just finished. One block away, it's the exact same floor plan, except it had an addition. So they had turned the garage into a bedroom, put a bathroom in, another bedroom in the very back, so it's a lot bigger house. Otherwise, same exact floor plan. Um, we're going to refinish the hardwood floors, paint, um, put in new windows. So you can see the bathroom is very rough. Need to redo all of that. Um, probably put in a new vanity, new tub, new tile. Two bedrooms up, one bedroom down, but we can probably fit another bedroom in the basement to make it a four bedroom, two bath. We'll replace all the light fixtures. As you can see, they're all pretty old. Windows are the old aluminum windows. Hardwood, I think that's mostly dirt, but it's really not in bad shape. It should clean up just fine. And we'll take a look at the kitchen. This'll be a full gut job. <laughs> um, got your awesome cabinets with the cool stacked dishwasher and stove, which I don't think I've ever seen that before. And then you've got your hood and a countertop there. So we'll redo this whole kitchen, new appliances, new cabinets, new counters. We'll take a look downstairs. The other one had a basement apartment too. They'd done a lot of work on that house. Same layout, but they'd made the entrance go from the outside instead of the inside to create the apartment. So that's the cool bar you've got here with the sweet angle. <laughs> we will take that out and possibly make this room right here where I'm standing a bedroom. And over here, leave that the family room. Be nice if you can make that the bedroom because it's already got a closet, but there's no window over there. In here, they have a toilet and it is hooked up. It is working. So. <laughs> We might go ahead and we will put in a vanity, a sink, maybe a shower. We'll see how far we want to go, but we'll at least make it a half bath. Um, it probably wouldn't take too much to put in a shower as well. Give it a three quarter bath down here. The furnace, very old hot water heaters from 05. So we'll, we'll replace both of those. And then the third bedroom is over here. Beautiful carpet, nice wallpaper, awesome ceiling panels. And there's the closet. So that's the house. There's also a one car attached garage you ha can't get into from the house. You have to go outside to get to it. Um, has a decent backyard, which I will show you here in just a second. It's a uh, there's a ton of dogs out there barking like crazy. There's the yard. Had a ton of rain this spring, which is nice. Kept the yard nice and green. There are the dogs. Covered patio. So I think, <laughs> always nice when you're trying to sell a house to have six dogs barking at you. Um, repairs will be probably around 40,000 on this one. ARV, after repaired value, probably in the 
20 to 230 range around there. Maybe even a little more. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll get started on it here soon and I'll have a after repair video for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.